Little Fox. Stone Soup. Many years ago, England was going through hard times. Some villages were very poor, but everyone still needed to eat and laugh. This is a story about how strangers become friends. I say, Stanley, this looks like a good spot. Right, Ho, Morris. We'll stop here for the evening. Shall we start making the soup? A fine idea. I'll get the water and a stone. Morris and Stanley were on their way to London. They were travelling on foot. Along the way, Morris and Stanley stopped at villages. Each time, they made stone soup. Morris, old pal, here's the water. <sniffs> Smells delicious. And here's a stone. That's a fine one, Stanley. Our soup will be very tasty tonight. Just then, Mrs. Tweedy from the village and her son Wilbert walked by. They were returning from the market. Good day, madam. Good day, gentlemen. Would you care to join us for some soup? Oh yes, please. Wilbert, we must get home and prepare supper. Wilbert, is that your name? Yes, sir, it is. Why, that boy with the three-legged cat was named Wilbert too. Three-legged cat? What happened to its other leg? Well, it was born with four legs, of course. But then, Morris and Stanley told the story. Of the boy with the three-legged cat, even Wilbert's mother listened. Just then, Mister Podger from the village walked by. He was carrying a loaf of bread, and that's the story. Is it true? Is what true? What's going on here? Oh, Mister Podger, please come and meet Morris and Stanley. Everyone said hello to each other. Morris, is it just me, or does Mister Podger remind you of someone? Hmm. Yes, he reminds me of Otis and Oliver, the twin barbers. Exactly what I was thinking. Twin barbers? Where? In Windermere, they're quite the barbers, Otis and Oliver. You see. Mr. Podger sat down and listened to the story of the twin barbers. A few minutes later, Miss Mabel from the village walked by. She was carrying a bag of potatoes. Good day, all. May I ask what you're doing here? Miss Mabel, come and meet Morris and Stanley. I say, Miss Mabel, what a splendid coat! Why, thank you. It looks like the one worn by Queen Francesca of Spain. Indeed, we met her in Chester. A coat like mine on a queen? Do tell all. So Morris and Stanley told the story of the Spanish queen. Everyone laughed. They had a great time talking with the strangers. Before long, it was getting dark. Thank you for a lovely time. I haven't laughed so much in ages. Oh, I hope your soup is not ruined. Why is there a stone in the soup? Because it's stone soup. That doesn't sound very tasty. It's actually quite good. Last night it tasted of turnips, and the night before it tasted of peas. Now the villagers did not think stone soup could be tasty. They looked at each other and wondered. Oh yes, this is very tasty. What do you think, Stanley? Delicious, but I think it needs just a little extra something. I have some carrots and onions here. Let's put them in the soup. I have some potatoes. In they go. And I've got fresh bread.
just the thing to have with soup. Stanley and Morris took turns stirring the pot. Soon, the stone soup turned into a hearty vegetable soup. The best I've ever tasted. Help yourselves. Delicious, which reminds me of another story. So Morris told them another funny story. Everyone ate and laughed. It was a wonderful evening. You must come and stay the night at my house. Oh, thank, thank you, you, sir. Morris and Stanley left the next morning, but the villagers never forgot the two men. They often talked about how Morris and Stanley made them laugh, and everyone remembered their wonderfully delicious stone soup. The people of this town had been strangers, but now they were friends. The end.